it means a great deal to all of us here. It means a great deal to our allies. It sends a very clear signal of our commitment to peace and security. And we're going to learn a great deal from it. Uh, we're going to learn about the logistical aspects. We're going to be able to engage with different allies and exercises throughout Europe, uh, in the you know the central part of the of the continent, and certainly uh, in Germany and Poland. When we look at what's happening here in Europe, there is a, a Russian challenge. There is a refugee challenge. There is a radical challenge, and so the command has to be able to adapt to all of those particular efforts with all of our allies and so it's a very interesting environment and so as we work with our partners and their ability to handle any of those three particular functions the russians the radicals and the refugees uh, you know that that really outlines the scope of what we're doing so it's a fantastic time to be here it's a very interesting time uh, in history this means a great deal for nato um, when you start thinking about um, what we had back in the you know, at the end of the Cold War, there's a tremendous amount of capability here on all four of our services. And certainly we had a peaceful uh, transition there. And so the, the reduction in forces was roughly 75% uh, in a ballpark figure. And so there was the luxury of having that peace and stability. Uh, the activities that we took on then to embrace the Russians was to make them a partner, make them part of uh, the whole dynamic, and, and they've changed that. Uh, certainly the, the things that they've done. So what this signals is uh, some kind of very visible return of forces back to Europe to show our commitment. Uh, and this is a fantastic opportunity for us to get back to a different continent, a different setting, and a different set of uh, challenges when it comes to operational war fighting. So when we think about this, if you're the, hopefully if you're the NATO allies, you're looking at a return of U.S. commitment at a time when it's very clearly needed. Uh, the feedback I was given over the past year and a half from allies of the immediate responses that we in Europe took in, on the American side to go and bolster allies, sending forces to Poland, sending forces to the Baltics, it was an immediate signal of our commitment, clearly in the face of that Russian aggression. The changes are going to be across the entire command, and so um, you have a mix of forces of those who are stationed here. You have a significant amount of maritime and uh, air capability that are stationed here, not rotational. Um, and uh, well, over, uh, well over half of the forces uh, are from the Air Force, uh, just under half are, are from the Army, and then the rest make up the, the Marines and the Navy. So. You know, they have been engaged in all kinds of activity. Many of the forces not only support European activity, but African activity. And so we've been engaged from Israel, the Horn of Africa, uh, you know, all the way up into the high, uh, the high north, uh, surveillance and reconnaissance activity in the Black Sea, the Baltic, uh, the exercises that we've been engaged in, the multilateral events. It is just an increased pace for everybody. Um, and many of, it, many of those opportunities are things we don't get to do, you know, outside of Europe. So it's, it's a great opportunity. Those of you who are assigned here, I hope you continue to enjoy your time in Europe. Uh, for those of you who are deployed here, thank you for being away from your families. And certainly want to highlight all the great work our civilians do, uh, the contractors who support us, and the most unsung team and the most uh, rewarding of our, uh, deserving of our praise are our families. Uh, who go through so much and they've been at this for quite some time.